Flashbacker from the Rapturious.com and it's been a while I haven't recorded any video so today it's demolition time so here we are okay this effect was made completely in 3ds max by using Rayfire plugin so it's a plugin which can be used to fracture things use NVIDIA physics or reactor and it's a cool plugin to just show demolition and all this stuff so here's another example cool so let the demolition get started okay <clears throat> first of all let's create a text shapes splines create a text modify pan and let's change this to wrap font like um, impact you can change the font as you want and just the kerning and add a modifier called extrude you can use bevel modifier as well And let's place this in the center, zero, zero. Change the color to gray. Okay, now we have to convert this to editable poly so that we can detach the RAP letters. So go in element mode, select the P letter and detach it. I'll name it as P, say K. Similarly for A, select detach. A. Let's say OK. And the uh, R is all the there. So I select all of them, go into hierarchy, effect pivot point, and plus in the center. So that if you want to manu animate it manually, you can just rotate it anyway how you want. So it's completely different letters now. Oops, I forgot to do undo. OK. Now I'll go on create a box which will be the base and the height a little bit oh it's too big reduce it something like this and change it to black okay and let's have some little bit gap between them do not always touch the surface so keep a gap between them and it's P it's R. Uh, let's assign material and maybe look a little bit white and change the color to black so that if you press F4 if you see the wireframe it's in black wireframe. Now I'll just go in Rayfire tool, turn on Rayfire and open the properties. This is all Rayfire is about. So, <clears throat> what we have over here is in simulation, we have impact objects. Now, which is the impact object? Letters. So, we have to select all of them and add into impact objects. Oops, I forgot to rename R. It's R. Here we are. Wrap. That's an impact object because it's going to get affected. So, it should be added in impact objects. Then, when right explosion, and here are the options for fragmentation so I'll be using um, uniform and define the iterations when defines how much factors you want so let's change it maybe more digitalization a little bit more chaos a little bit nice strength and a fragment impact object so right now it's fragmenting them Will take a while. This fragment R. A. Not fragment P. Let's 
Okay, it's done. So here we are. These are different pieces now. Now I'm gonna let's select physics. So we'll be using physics in this case. And change the time. Then let's have it play. Now you can see the text is not colliding with the ground floor as we haven't added the ground floor. So we have to add the ground floor as well. So I'll select the ground floor and add it in unyielding object because I don't want my gravity to affect it. And let's hit a play again. You can see it's colliding now. Nice. Okay. So what I want is it should not break up into pieces at a time. It will break from letter P or A or R. So what I'll do is I'll create box. Maybe somewhat like this. And <coughs> it should cover the cold letters. So let's adjust the parameters. Do it in height. And what I'll do is I'll animate this box. which will travel from this side to that side. To here. So what I want is exactly is whenever this box will pass through these letters, it should start affecting. It should trigger them to fall down. Okay, so this is my trigger object. So what I have to do is go into physics influence and add this box. Okay, and just come down over here and select deactivate static impact objects. So I don't want these objects to be activated before then I want this object to be activated by geometry which is a box so turn it on now let's see this let's hit play and you can see as the box passes it starts falling down beauty isn't it so let's hide the box and preview once again. Wow. Cool. You can see P is fall down, and P is falling down, then R. And this uh, funda can be applied to anything, either it's a box, your logo, text, anything. Okay, now let's bake this animation. So First of all, let's increase some sub steps so that we get more quality, more detailed calculation. And everything's okay. Let's hit bake keys. Now it's right now creating keyframes. It will take a while. Baking keys will take a little bit more, more time than the preview. But it's now right now actually recording the keys of the object. It's falling down. Now the simulation has stopped. I need to increase some timeline over here. So let's go into time configuration and increase it. Hit OK. And we have to increase the time and time range as well. I'll just turn on create animation at current frame. So it's continuing the animation. Let's stop it over here. OK. This. Well, let's see it, what we have. Demolition. Great, isn't it? So it's very simple. You can apply this to anything.
and you can just add some nice texture, nice reflection, light it up and render it and getting something like this. This was just a simple preview made for you guys. And a better version, Doomsday. Nice flare, lens flare. So play with some time to be happy.